Hello and welcome back to another painting video. Today we're going to be painting these Jedi Starfighters for Star Wars Armada. And you know I was sitting here doing this and I thought you know I should just make a video of this. It's going to be really fast but just kind of to build your confidence and help you you know think hold on my cat's being crazy. Ah, get out of here! Get out! Get out! I love you! Okay, sorry. So, we're going to be painting our Armada figures, our squadrons, because, I mean, you can get results like this. And it's really quick. I mean, they just don't want you to be, you know, averse to doing it because they're so small. Um, the hardest part of this, for me, for Republic anyway, is matching this yellowy gray color. So I'll kind of show you how I try to do that. And it's not going to be perfect. And don't be discouraged if it's not perfect. Because, like I said, those are just excuses to keep you from doing stuff. One thing I did find that is useful is getting these little alligator clip things from Amazon. I got it and it came with like this little plastic thingy that you can put them all in. And then it holds perfectly onto the little peg that goes into the ship. So you don't have to kind of finagle with it on the plastic, the clear plastic. So, our first step is going to be trying to match this color. And there's a sponge in here. Uh, so what I do is I take this ghost gray color. I'm going to take some of this ghost gray. And then some of this sunny skin tone. It's like a yellow from Vallejo. Give it a good shake. Put some of that down. And then also this German camo beige World War II that we kind of use for a lot of stuff. It's also a good color. But see how dark it is? So with our reference here, let's get some water on our brush here. And then we'll pull this all kind of together to try to get as close to the color as we can. You can see it's looking kind of close. Probably can make it a little lighter and to do that we'll just use some white. We'll pull some white in to this side. Oop, that's too much, but you know when you're trying to match these colors you might have to waste a bit of paint. <laughs> whole bunch in here to like super light it up and that's probably close enough for us I mean hmm. you can even touch it on here and see like what it looks like so I did a little touch right here in the back so I think we did pretty good we did a pretty good job of matching it right there and then you just kind of take it and just kind of lightly brush over the top of the, the model because you want to preserve those black lines as much as you can and you want to keep the paint not super duper thick so just kind of Go over it, make sure you get all the little sides and nooks and crannies. I think last time I did this, I kind of just like stab blotted it on with like a different brush, but this works. 
And you know, for like the rebels, their their armada ships are pretty well base coated. Um, the color is pretty good, so you can probably just leave that and paint over the top of it. Um, the thing about these guys is that they're red base, so that wasn't a good starting point for me to paint from. Um, and then Imperials, you know, I would probably do uh, a light, a lighter blue color on them. I don't know what color they are by default. They might be blue already. And then I would just go in with the black on the TIE Fighter parts. And then for the droids, uh, I would probably paint them white also. Actually, no, because they like that blue too. Like, yeah, it depends because they have a lot of variety on their their droid types and stuff like that. Okay, so that's going to be our base coat on there. Also, maybe while I'm here, while I have this paint kind of done, we'll take... Oh no, where is it? Houston, we have lost a Star Destroyer. Oh, well, okay, never mind then. <laughs> we'll move on. Um, so the good thing about this color is that it's like a white, so then contrast paints work over the top of it. So now, move this back over here, and we can get our red contrast paint, which is what we're using for like the markings and stuff like that. It is a, it is a lighter red than is on these, like you can see over here, like the red is like a lot more vibrant than that red. It's not like a beige -y color but it works. Okay, we're back. And we just have, all we've done is base coated these guys. And then I went downstairs and grabbed my Star Destroyer. It also works for the Republic and I'm gonna kind of paint over it with like a dry brush with that color while we still have it. Because I feel like I did a decent job of matching the color. And then just kind of remix everything while we to keep it. It's not really a dry brush. It's like we're full on wet on this brush, but more white in there. The color's already kind of drying out over here, so I'm like, no, you gotta save it. get all of that coated. Try not to let it clump too much in spaces. Since this is bigger we might do like a, a wash over the top to keep those panel lines on here. Also, you know, I would probably prime this first before just going into it like this, but um, I had the paint ready here and I didn't want it to dry out, so I just went for it. and crannies here. So 
So you can see it's a not quite match. It needs more white in here to kind of lighten it more. But we got what we got. You don't want just like the pure white, you just want to kind of nicely go over this, try to get in there. For this, we'll leave kind of the engines how they are. We'll flip it and just kind of hold on to it. The underside doesn't have to be as great because it is not seen. There we go. You can see that kind of lands up a little bit better with that too. sides here spending all this time trying to recorrect the top but it's okay okay so then we can wipe that off that thing's gonna be like super dry so we'll set this over here is riveting for you guys watching nothing okay so now you want to get your small brush and then we'll get our red paint our blood angels red contrast paint you can see it's a little more vibrant like I was saying than the red is normally and we'll just pick out some of the panels on here and use those as our is our marking so there's like this little thing here get that you can kind of color onto the bottom too but like I said, the bottoms aren't as important because you don't see them. We're just doing the same thing here, just duplicating our pattern. And you can just go here on the back and then just color that red. Make sure you get the sides. And then we'll get like, we'll get the top of that. And then just make sure you fill in the arrow there. So that's one. Then we'll get this one. We'll probably do, and we'll do something a little more opposite. Probably 
Can you see it? Okay, cool. Pray. Go ahead and there. I'm gonna do the same on this side. Sorry, these things are a little difficult to maneuver because they have the long sticks on the bottom here. And then same thing on the bottom, we can just fill in that right there. And then we'll probably get like the these little insides right here, as well as like the tail fin. So that's two. And then for the third one, we'll do, what should we do on this one? You can paint them like the generals too. Uh, they have the Jedi generals. I don't have those on the top of my head right now, so I can't just be like, oh yeah, we'll paint it like that. Um, we'll do kind of like the last one that we did, but a little bit different. So just color up the front there. And then color up the front here. We'll do like a half and half kind of thing. Fill that in right there, and then actually you can probably you can probably take this out of there. Eh, whatever, you can cut these shorter too. The sticks, which probably would be better to do, and we'll do fill in this whole thing right here, and the same thing here. Just fill in. Oops, sorry. This whole guy right there, color in that, color this side. Cool. Now for the R2 units on them, or the Astromex, um, we'll get like a yellow, we'll use this Imperial Fist yellow for one of them. Just some on your brush and then just try to dot the little guy. It's very small. And then we'll get like a blue. Let's get this Talisar blue right here for another one. Just get his little little dome right there. And then for the last one, we'll use like a green. We'll get this warp lightning contrast paint. So let's do that. Right there. Bless you. And then lastly, we'll get the canopies with the Black Templar. And that will finish out the, and the engine, we'll get the engines too. So, just get the little guy. And then we'll put, you could also use just plain black paint for this too. It's the same. So we have our canopy painted. And we'll also get our little engines here on the back. 
painted. Let me just move to the next one. Same thing. Canopy. Engine, engine. Canopy. Engine. There. And our last one. Get that canopy. And we'll get the engines. There. So that's how we paint our Jedi Starfighters for Star Wars Armada. You can see they're really tiny, so you don't have to go crazy with the detail. You can. But that's how we did that. So now our big, I think it's the Gladiator, I'm not sure which one it is, is dry. So we can hit it with a wash to get those panel lines to show a lot more. I mean, they already kind of show pretty good, but we want those like recesses to be dark and I don't know. Don't, maybe we'll, we'll do a light wash of known oil to some of the areas. So let's take this. We definitely want to get like where the gun batteries are. You can see like how when we put this wash on it, it's gonna kind of mess with the paint color. So we'll just kind of put it a little bit on stuff, like in these like little, some of these little recesses in here. We can wipe off with our finger anything that we don't want it to hit. Definitely in here, in like the front part, like these little indents. We definitely want some in there. Same thing for like the back. As well as if we can, let's uh, get a smaller brush. Let's not go crazy like that. Just take this guy and then just kind of go in those little under, little undercut areas. We definitely lost some detail in those. And then as you go, just wipe it off if you spill over like that. And then now we can get our contrast paint on it for the red. Use the same Blood Angels red on it. And I kind of wanted to take this area here. this area got kind of messed up with the paint so we're just kind of making up for it with the contrast we're trying to make up for it with the contrast I don't know if it will but So 
let's just get that. Trying to pick and choose really here, like not just go crazy. I don't want it to look too much like I just slapped the red paint on it, you know? But if that's what you want, go for it. I'm just trying to make it look like it kind of belongs. And like I said, this is a lot different red than the other one. I think maybe if we, maybe we could do like a black wash over the top of this red and it would maybe darken it to be closer to what the actual one is but I'm not sure. You can always try it out and remember like worst case scenario you just prime the thing and start over again. It's not that hard. Just don't be scared to do this stuff because this is how you're gonna improve and then also it sets your stuff apart from everyone else's right because this is all like pre-painted box game stuff and you can diversify your fleets a bit make them look different than all the other people that you're playing with okay let me just get in here so I'm gonna have to take it out of frame maybe so let me just kind of slosh it in here And I want to do this piece here. And this sides here. Just being careful of those lines and try not to go outside of the, the model here. We have to get it on the parts that we don't want because like we showed in the beginning mixing this color is not fun <laughs> it's not easy or fun so let's just kind of probably just going to do the tops again like I said not important to do the bottoms I think what actually I'm going to do too is I'm going to paint this part red. The little bridge area. I feel like That might be the glass. I'm not sure where the glass is on this guy. We'll kind of just guess it there. Okay, and then we got the same thing here on this side. Okay, 
get the sides. Ooh. The sides got a little, a little messy. Maybe we'll just do that to give the illusion that it's painted under. Let me just fix the other side. So hold on one second. Just stand by. Make sure you get those like little white spots when you see them, because they will be there. Okay, now for just like the little glasses, we use this Ethermatic Blue contrast paint for our kind of windowed area, which I don't know, like could be, could be here. Could be here too. I don't know. But you guys get it. You get it. And then if you want to, you can do that Republic symbol circle thing with this Yandin yellow. Just kind of put a circle in the middle of the ship here. as best as we can, right? It's not going to have to be a perfect circle. And then we take our same red, the Blood Angels red, and we just kind of bracket it. Take that, get our red here, and then try to be clean about it, but you know how that's going to be. So it's gonna look a little, it's gonna look a little funky. And just try your best to freehand the circle. There you go. <laughs> like I said, you're not gonna get better if you don't try. So at least try it. And if you want to, you can get some more of that yellow and just kind of fill out the edges and the in-betweens here, like the... There we go. And then lastly, we'll get our black contrast paint. And we'll get the little antennas on here. This little, this guy. And then we'll get this one too. We'll shake all over the place while we're doing it, so we make sure we get it nice and messed up everywhere. And then we can kind of take it into here. It might be actually, hmm, we'll see. We'll just kind of take it in here, give it like a light kind of hit with the black contrast. Just to darken it like the other one is dark. Just want to unify everything. Oops. And there. And there we have our gladiator painted for Armada 
to be with these guys. So you can see like, the colors are pretty different, but I'm happy with it. I think it looks cool. And yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching as always, and we'll catch you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you guys on the next one.